One of the uh, challenges that universities face today is to provide better customer service to students in a cost-effective manner. And so uh, AI-assisted chatbots are a great tool uh, by which universities can do that. So what we've done is we've partnered with uh, a company uh, called No Hold and uh, we are providing a way for universities to quickly and cost-effectively build chatbots for a variety of different uh, domains. So it could be about admissions, it could be about financial aid, it could be about IT support, etc. So what we've got here is a simple little demo uh, that uh, showcases uh, that showcases the ability of a chatbot to serve students uh, across a number of different areas. So what you see here is this chatbot is set up to answer questions about admissions, about costs of attending, about financial aid, and then about IT health risk. Um, this particular chatbot is deployed in a, in a website, but it is multi-channel. So you could build a chatbot that works across a variety of channels, such as websites, or Facebook Messenger, or over uh, SMS even, or even, even IVR, Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, etc. So what I'm going to show you is uh, the ability to uh, interact with the chatbot in uh, basically over natural language, uh, in a conversational manner and then also uh, the ability to navigate the chatbot through a simple menu-driven interface. So I can go in here and I can say something like, uh, how uh, do I apply? And then once I type that, uh, basically the chatbot recognized what I was asking about and it went ahead and gave me uh, some more information. So it's asking me to select uh, which of these options uh, are applicable to me. So I went ahead and selected first time college. Uh, and so it can go on and on. I can now converse with it. I can ask it follow-up questions about one of these areas. Uh, what the chatbot can also do is it can provide links to me that I can click on. It can provide videos. It can provide audio clips, etc. So it's truly a multimedia uh, interaction and conversation that the chatbot can, can indulge in. The other thing I want to show you is, um, I want to also show you how quick and simple and easy it is to build the chatbot. Uh, so this is an interface that we use for uh, basically building it. Um, really what the uh, chatbot is able to do or really what this platform is able to do is it can ingest a document which is very unstructured. So for instance, I'm showing you here a Word document and there are basically headers within the Word document. What the platform does is it can ingest the Word document and it can then recognize a variety of topics and convert them into questions that it can uh, answer. Uh, so it could be as simple as, again, a Word document. It could also be linked to knowledge bases, uh, databases, etc. So it can span all the range from something very simple, like a Word doc or a website, and to something very complicated like a database or knowledge base. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to show you uh, related to this is that uh, there's also a dashboard that provides uh, very rich reporting on the usage of the, of the chatbot. So what, what, what it's showing me here is that it's showing me uh, by day the number of interactions or the number of uh, usages of the bot. Uh, over here, it's showing me a quick summary of the top questions. Uh, so how many times has a particular question been asked? And then it gives a rating. Now, the rating is color-coded. The green here means that the question was uh, something that the bot understood and the bot had a ready answer for. Uh, when you see something like an orange here, uh, it means that the bot doesn't necessarily have a direct answer for that question. So the bot might come back with a clarifying question. Uh, I don't see any reds here, but if there is a red color coding for a particular question, that means that the bot does not have the answer for that. And having that kind of visibility into how the bot is doing is important because what it tells you is how useful is the bot, how effective is the bot in answering questions, and then what questions does it not know anything about, so that then you can add to the knowledge and then enable the bot to uh, answer those questions going forward. Uh, so that was my uh, quick and simple demo about this platform. Uh, hopefully you got something out of it. I'm looking forward to working with you.